Hey guys, what is going on? Booster Kings here with another Pokemon video, and in today's video, we have our very, very first installment of If I Owned a Store. This is a new series I wanted to bring out. I've wanted to do this for a while, but I just haven't had the time or motivation. But we have the motivation now, and I'm so excited. This first idea, and I'm looking for ideas from you guys as well. If you guys had your own store, what would you put in them? What would you do to them? How would you decorate them? How would you do it? But the first installment of is these things. Now, these may look like mini or just like pre-release boxes, just like pre-release kits. And as you guys saw from the title, this is a mini booster box. And I absolutely love this idea. It is from Brody and I really, really just like this idea. So these are filled with 10 booster packs. And as you can see on the covers, we have like, we have from Evolutions all the way up to the brand new set Crimson Invasion. And these are pre-release kits. These are the only ones that I have on hand. I do have another Evolutions one over there, but that is empty. That is for something else. And these have the respected sets. So this one has five Burning Shadows in it. Then it has five other random packs. This one has five Crimson Invasion and five other random packs. This one has five Sun and Moon base and five, you guys get the point. But we'll be opening up one of these today and if I owned a store, how much would I sell these for? Oh, that's so right. If I owned a store, how much would I sell these for? Don't, don't, don't do rapping. Don't do it. Booster Kings, what are you doing? But if I own a store, I would sell these for around $40 just because I, I get these for like 120 bucks a booster box. That is in Australian dollars. Um, it is around that price and whatever that is, I don't even know. But I would probably put them up a little bit because of the profit and obviously got to pay the staff and pay rent and everything for the store. So $4 a pack seems all right. Maybe it's a little bit too cheap. Maybe it's a little bit too expensive. Let me know in the comment section below, but this is U uh, AUD, so Australian dollars only. Um, that's just what I work off personally. So these have 10 packs in them. That's $40. So this mini booster box would cost you around $40 Australian. So we're going to we're gonna open up the first one, and I've got my eyes closed. I just think I bumped the microphone, and we're going to open up one of these in today's video. So hopefully you guys do enjoy. I'm going to pick out one. Let's go this one. It is the Sun and Moon base. Sun and Moon base set. So these are all filled with stuff. So I'll put those off to the side. They will be opened up later. If you guys do enjoy these videos, let me know. Let me know what you guys would sell on a store. I'm really interested. This is the first episode. I cannot wait to get into this one. This one is from my friend, one of my best friends, if not my best friend, Brody. This was his idea, so shout out to Brody. Make sure to head over to his channel and check out his videos because they are absolutely unreal. I cannot wait to get into this one. Let's get into this one. So, as you guys would see, it kind of looks like that. Check it out. So we got heaps of booster packs, heaps and heaps. It looks so awesome, I cannot wait to get into this mini booster box. Check it out, oh, there we go. There's all the packs, that's how it'll look. It'll just have packs in it, it's very small. It probably won't be packaged up like this if I were to sell them in a store because, let's face it, where do you get all these pre-release kits from? I only have six in total. What if a million people ordered them? How would I sell them? I wouldn't. But anyways, let's get into these packs. We have our five of the cover work, we have the five Sun and Moon base. Then we have a couple of random packs. So let's do, let's do the five Sun and Moon packs first, and let's get into this mini booster box. I cannot wait. Oh, I can. I've been wanting to do this for so long. There is the first code card of this new series. I cannot wait. I've been so excited to do this. But let's get into this. We have a Dupider, a Bond Suite. Lillipop, a Paris, Firo, a Energy, Lily, a Hurtier, a Crushing Hammer, Rare Candy, and an Oranguru, a Hollow Foil Oranguru, almost a regular rare, a Hollow Foil Oranguru for the first pack. That is epic. 
That is actually awesome. I am, <coughs> I am actually so hyped. I am so hyped for this. And it's very cold in here. Turn off aircon. Much better. Not really. It hadn't done anything yet. There is a second code card out of this mini booster box. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to see what you guys think about this. Let me know because this is a brand new series that I wanted to bring out. Um, let me know what you guys would sell in a store. I'm very interested. And if you guys give some good ideas, which I know that you guys will in the comment section below, um, please, please, I will give you guys shout outs and stuff. Like, don't worry about that. But please let me know in the comment section below what you guys would sell. If you guys have any good ideas, make sure to message me or Twitter or Instagram it to me or something like that. But we have a Growlithe and a Crabominable regular rare. Let's put that one in the reg. Oh, where did there it is? The regular air pile. Oh we, oh we. Let's go. We have an incineroar on this next pack artwork. Come on, you're not. You're selling me pretty short here, Pokemon. Pokemon mini booster box. Let's go. We have a Drazzy, a Kitty Fly, a Makuhita, a Snubble, a a Lolan Ratatata, a Energy Spinder, a Potion. Hypno, a two cannon regular rare, or no, reverse holo rare, and a, Incin <coughs> a Incineroar GX out of the Incineroar pack. That is actually crazy. Check that one out. Incineroar, that's actually happened way too many times with this set. I'm pretty sure that happened as well um, with the other, uh, with, I think it might have been Primarina. I'm pretty sure. But it's happened way too many times. Maybe it's happened with Soul Galeo as well. But there is another another code card for you guys. Let's go. We have a Cosmog, a Litten, Psyduck, a Bonsuite, a Lillipop, a Energy, Brion, a Karakarok, a Pelipper, Crobat, Reverse Holo Rare. That, so there's another rare in a row. We got the two cannon in the last pack, but we have another rare. And a Butterfree regular rare. Just a regular rare. Right over there. The last... So this is only... This is the fifth pack in. We still have five more packs after this. This is awesome. There is a code. Four and then two. And then we go into this one. We have a Piggy Pack. A Spiro. Fermentus. A Morlul. A Skarmory. A Energy. Dragonair. A Poliwhirl, a Crushing Hammer, a Reverse Holo Crocker Rock, and a Incineroar. We have so many Incineroars in this one. Another Incineroar. Incineroar GX out of the Incineroar pack. And then we have all of the above. We have a Crimson Invasion pack. The brand new set that just got dropped a couple of days ago. I think it was like a week ago, actually. But there is a code card. Can we get something epic? Let me know in the comment section below. We have a Shelmet, a Swablu, a Swinub, a Nummel, a <laughs> Minchino, Energy, Fighting Memory, a Gastriodon, a Counter Energy, Pumpkaboo, and a Altaria. I almost just skipped over that. A Pumpkaboo Reverse Holo, and a Altaria Regular Rare. Altaria seems like the card that you definitely get a lot of. We have a Buzzwall pack of Crimson Invasion. Come on, let's go. We have the code card. Feels very flimsy. Three and then two. Let's go. Let's see what this pack has. We have a Hound Hour, a Staryu, Jagamoto, a Shelmet, Sandit, a Energy, Hakamoto, a... Jeez, are we gonna get the, um... Kamo O O, a Haunter, Devoured Field, a Lucimine Rare, no, Uncommon Reverse Holo, and a Boswell GX. Are you actually kidding me? Out of the Boswell pack, why is this happening a lot today? That's actually a good reverse. A Boswell GX out of the Boswell pack. That is actually epic. I'm really, really happy with that. That is so awesome. Alrighty, we have two more packs. No, three more packs. My bad, three more packs. Ancient Origins is up next, so we are definitely onto some random packs. Back from uh, XY. Not even Sun and Moon anymore. 
Let's see if we can get some sort of Hooper goodness. Here we go. We have a Gumi, a Inkei, a Baltoy, Persian, a Golurk, a Sceptile Spirit Link, a Galoom, a Ace Trainer, a Relinkanth, Relinkanth Reverse Holo, and a Regirock Regular Rare. Just a Regular Rare to finish that one off. Regular Rare, Regirock. We have a Fates Collide, which we could get the Umbreon. Oh my god, let's go. Let's get this Umbreon. Let's do it. There's a code card. Three and then two. And let's go. Let's get the Umbreon. Come on, Umbreon. We have a Volibee, a Coughing, Minchino, a Diglett, Riolu, a Duosion, a Deevolution Spray, a Sinchino, Bent Spoon, and a Grumpy Regular Rare. With Explodes in the background. Alrighty, we are on to our last pack, which is nonetheless Roaring Skies. Now let's go, we can get a Shaman Full Art in this one. I know it's not expensive anymore, well, relatively expensive, but we could get the almighty Umbreon. I mean, not the Umbreon, the, the, the Shaman, what am I talking about? Bag on, a Binnacle. Trainer's Mail, yes, that is a great card right there. Put that one over there. We have a Fletchender, Wide Lens, a Carbink Reverse, and a Togekiss Regular Rare to finish that one off. But guys, that was a that's actually really awesome. We did really well. That, that was actually awesome. So we got the Oranguru Holo Floor from Sun Moon. We got the Lusamine from Crimson Invasion, that's a reverse holo. We got a Buzzwall from Crimson Invasion out of the Buzzwall pack, and then we got the Incineroar out of the Incineroar pack, which was crazy. Guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you guys are, are new. If you guys didn't enjoy this video, let me know in the comment section why. If you guys have any suggestions of what to make, what to sell in a store, other than just packs, these are like custom creations, repackaged stuff. I'm super excited to get into this one. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Make sure to stay tuned for episode number two of If I Own a Store. I will see you guys in the next episode or in the next video. I'm not too sure what's out next, but I'll see you guys shortly and peace out.